I think that's a very common uh, and a good question. Uh, as a neurosurgeon, we deal with both brain and spine problems. Uh, the most common brain problems are actually head injuries in an acute setting, stroke, uh, and then thirdly, brain tumours. So I see um, a lot of patients with head injuries very commonly, and in an acute setting also sometimes patients with strokes, uh, of which some of them require surgery. Um, the most common problem I see in the clinic nowadays are actually uh, spine and back problems. Uh, the reason is because uh, I'm a neurosurgeon with a subspecialty interest uh, in spine problems. Spine problems are actually very common. Uh, in fact, um, most people uh, will experience some degree of back problems uh, at some point in their lives. Back problems include both uh, cervical or neck problems to lower back problems. Um, they range from uh, simple back aches to pains shooting down the legs, what we call sciatica, uh, to sometimes in the elderly, uh, pain and numbness in the legs when they walk for long distances. So while it's common in the uh, elderly, uh, it is also not uncommon in the younger generation. Because back pain, um, neck pain, lower back aches are very common, uh, they are some very often treated uh, at the primary healthcare level by the general practitioners. In general, when a back pain is increasing in its frequency, um, usually defined as pain of more than two weeks in duration, if they are associated with other symptoms, for instance, if they are associated with pain shooting down the legs or numbness and weakness in the hands, uh, essentially, if the symptoms are persistent or progressive and associated with other things, then I think you should seek specialty consult, uh, of which I can, I can see uh, quite a wide range of uh, neck and lower back problems. The mainstay of treatment is still conservative. That means the mainstay of treatment is to exclude uh, anything uh, sinister, right? um, but importantly is to find the source or the root of the problem. And then this problem needs to be addressed. Most of the time, they're addressed with conservative measures. That means with advice on a person's posture, with advice on the do's and don'ts, uh, things to avoid. Um, uh, so very often the patient just needs to take uh, care of the back uh, with regards to uh, good posture, um, uh, good habits, uh, not carrying heavy loads, and sometimes a course of physiotherapy and uh, maybe a short duration of medication. And this goes a long way in helping a person's uh, back problem. If the problem is severe, uh, associated with what we call neurological deficit, associated with, with some weakness or associated with damage to the nerves, then sometimes surgery uh, is required. Uh, today, um, a lot of surgery is done minimally invasive. Uh, that means through small incisions. Uh, which would mean that uh, the recovery time is shorter because the amount of collateral damage or the, the amount of uh, uh, damage to the surrounding tissue is less. So surgery can be done quicker, it can be done under the microscope uh, more safe, safely today than before.